Hey guys, it's Brenda from Gumdrops and Lollipops Tarot. I'm bringing you three quick videos today, and these are the quick and dirties. And not are they? They're not like my regular quick and dirties. They're even quicker. <laughs> um, I'm gonna do the signs. I already did a video from Aries to Cancer, from Leo to Scorpio, and now this is the last video. It's gonna be Sagittarius to Pisces. Um, we're going to get three tarot cards about what's coming towards you in love. Then we're going to get the love and romance journey cards from Queen Sugar Tarot. We're going to get my new deck, the soul's reflection love oracle cards, and then the hidden truth oracle from all things intuitive to find out what's coming towards you in love. All right. So let's get into it, guys. These are general reads. So please take what resonates with you and leave the rest. If you feel like this is not your read, check your moon and your rising signs. If you're not sure what your moon and your rising signs are, there's a link in the description box below to get that information and there's also a link in the description box below to get my personal web page all right so this is for Sagittarius's let me put this card back up so I've time stamped the proper time Sagittarius is what's coming towards Sagittarius is in love we have Queen of Wands Ooh, the Emperor and the Ten of Wands Ooh, lots of fire guys so this is Aries Leo Sagittarius yourself I do feel like Sagittarius as you are putting down a burden I feel like you are walking away from something that doesn't serve you you're laying down this really heavy situation that you've had on your mind on your back um, and you're kind of just putting it down you can't carry it anymore and you're like you know what I'm done with this I need to lay it down it's, it's just weighing me down what do you have coming towards in, you in love this is a fiery 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 connection um, this is sexy flirty energy this is fun this is laughter this is joy this is uh, really good times this person has a lot of passion and a lot of love the emperor is someone, this is your divine masculine, so this person is your counterpart. This is your divine partner, male or female, it does not, it's not specific in tarot. So this is someone who wants to be a protector. This is someone who wants to provide, to guard you, to keep you safe, but to be your counterpart, to be the person that is on your side, by your side, that's with you like for here and forever. So I feel like this is a very fiery, sexy, I'm sexy, I don't know why I said it like that, fiery, sexy, flirty energy, but it's going to come after you kind of put down a burden that you've been carrying, Sagittarius. Let's get a couple of love and romance journey cards from Queen Sugar Tarot. Masked offer and separation. Ooh. So I'm wondering if this is what you're kind of setting down, right? I feel like maybe in a situation you separated from someone because they were not being truthful about what they wanted or what they needed from you um, or what they were expecting or what they were willing to give. And it might have prompted a separation, which might be the burden that you're putting down. So perhaps... I'm going to give you two stories because depending on the rest of the cards that come out, perhaps this is a separation because you were feeling like somebody wasn't honest with you and you're kind of letting that go. You're letting that burden be rested and you're moving on to somebody new. Or this could be that you're just letting go of this past situation where there was a masked offer. Someone wasn't being super honest and there was a separation as a result of it. Let me get some love oracle cards from the soul's reflect the soul. The Soul Reflections deck. Sorry. I am getting so tired. I'm fading very quickly. I don't know what that was. Take the leap. Have faith and trust in yourself. Lust. Mm. Well, I definitely could see that there's a lot of passion here with the all the wands. Um, and the Emperor and the Queen of Wands. I mean, the Queen of Wands is the definition of lust, right? This is someone... Um, that you um, that you find very very sexy, flirty, and attractive. Lots of positive energy. Lots of fun times. Um, yeah. So I guess I think this is kind of like after the separation, after the mess to offer, after that burden being put down, that you're gonna have a very lustful connection, and you're gonna take the leap of faith. You're going to have uh, have faith and trust in yourself. So if your person, Sagittarius, could tell you what they wanted to tell you, they're going to say, I hid who I really was from you. I hid who I really am from you. So maybe this was the masked offer. Maybe this person kind of acted as if they didn't care if you left. They didn't care if you came or you went. Um, and then that's going to kind of be exposed because maybe you kind of called their bluff and you're like, you know what? You don't care. Then let's just separate. I'm going to put down this burden and I'm going to move forward. And that kind of maybe propelled them to come right back to you. I don't know. You 
tell me, Sagittarius. You tell me. All right, we're going to get into Capricorns next. I told you these were quick. Quick, quick, quick. Oh, I'm not taking that for you, Capricorn, because I didn't put your card up yet. Capricorns. What's coming towards Capricorns in love? Ooh, you're going to have a new start in love. New, stable, committed, loyal start. Um, Capricorns, you're going to have someone that comes totally out of the blue, totally unexpected. This is going to be a tower moment for you. I feel like um, you are sitting in this power of being very... Um, almost untrusting right this is like a wounded warrior but the thing with this wounded warrior pardon my yawn sorry the thing about this wounded warrior is she is persistent she's not giving up she's going to keep moving forward to get what she wants but i feel like this situation is going to come totally unexpected you're not going to be prepared for it but somebody is going to come towards you Capricorn and offer you a new stable committed loyal start they want to have a new start with you they want to show you they're committed they want to tell you that they're loyal they want to build with you they want to be financially stable with you they're coming they're coming in as a, a very consistent stable offer of love um, we have the love and romance journey deck from Queen Sugar Tarot for Capricorn hidden truth and take a step back I kind of feel like this is what you're going to be doing is taking a step back because you're very much sitting in this guarded energy and it's going to be someone that kind of just really takes you by surprise. I feel like the hidden truth they reveal is going to be what makes you like, excuse me, what did you just say? Like what? I didn't even see that coming. Um, so I feel like that's going to be their hidden truth. Let's get a couple of love oracle cards from the soul reflections the soul reflections love oracle deck fun times and happily ever after so yeah uncharted territory so this might be something that takes you by surprise but it's going to be a lot of fun you're going to be with this person forever and if you are a sandlot fan you know what that is forever all right, the Hidden Truth Oracle deck from All Things Intuitive. I swear sometimes. <sighs> I'm so sorry, guys. I'm so sorry. It was my fault, but I blamed you. So maybe this is the Hidden Truth. Maybe this is why you're guarded. Maybe they did something that they blamed you about, and now that's why you're cautious. That's why you want to take a step back. But I do think, guys, um, you're still sitting in this power of like, you know what? Yes, I've been hurt, but I'm going to continue to persevere. Something's going to come back and totally surprise you, and they're going to ask for a new start. And this new start is going to result in happily ever after and fun times. So I think move forward, Capricorns. Move forward. All right. We're moving on to Aquarius. This is going to be a really fast one. Like this video. The other video was like 18 minutes. I don't know how four, four signs got 18 minutes, but this one's only at, well, I guess this one's at eight and a half or two. So don't mind my babble. Aquarius is Aquarius is what's coming towards Aquarius is in love. Oh, you got some competition Aquarius is. Wow. Okay. So we have conflict and competition. I feel like Aquarius is you're going to have a couple people that are vying for your attention. I definitely see you making a choice in love with this Gemini lover's card. It's the lover's card, but it's a Gemini sign. Um, I definitely see you having to make this choice. I think you have very many suitors coming towards you and saying like, pick me, pick me, pick me. And you're like, okay, I have to make a choice. I do feel like you are going to make a choice. You're going to have a resolution. Um, you have five of cups on the bottom of the deck. Um, so I feel like this situation of this the five of cups energy of feeling like apathetic, kind of sad, kind of withdrawn, and feeling overwhelmed by this conflict is going to come to an end. And once this cycle kind of goes through, you're going to know at the end of this cycle who it is that you're supposed to pick. You're going to know who this soulmate energy is. You're going to know who this true love is. You're going to know who you're going to get married to at the end of this cycle of this conflict and competition. Um, with the world card, it's like a completion of a situation uh, with a positive outcome. So I feel like um, 
it is all going to work out in your favor, but you have to kind of get through the process of dealing with this conflict and competition. We have the Love and Romance Journey deck from Queen Sugar Tarot. And we have Summer and we have Reflection. So I kind of feel like, guys, with the Reflection card being here, it's not the same as like the World card. This would be more like the Judgment card to me, but I feel like you're going to kind of really be reflecting about the situation. Everything's going to come full circle. Like I said, after this completion, you're going to know what you need to do. And this is all going to kind of come to uh, a breaking point by the summer. Let's get the Soul's Reflections Love Oracle cards. Arguments. Are you hearing each other? And insecurities. Interestingly enough, guys. Oh, wow. This is really wild. So on the bottom of the decks, we have Regret and the Five of Cups. Very similar energy, right? And then we have arguments and insecurities, which kind of make me think the five of wands. Conflict and competition. This could be arguments. People are going to be insecure, right, when they're all battling for your attention. Um, so I feel like that's going to be kind of what you need to dig through. And that's what you're going to have to kind of figure out with this world card. Once you make that choice of, you know what, I know what it is that I want. I've got this resolution. Um you're going to figure it out. I think it's going to be a little difficult. All right. The Hidden Truth Oracle deck from All Things Intuitive. What would your person want to say to you if they could say it? What would the person want to say to Aquarius if they could say it? I'm not available. Oh, so maybe your person is not available right at the moment. Maybe that's why um, cycles need to kind of go through shifts and, and you'll figure out who it is you're supposed to be with. Interesting, Aquarius is. I feel like there's a lot of reiterations in this um, this read that I just did for you. Like I think the cards are lining up with themselves quite strongly. I'm not sure who it's resonating with though. I feel like it may not be resonating with the majority, but uh, I feel like it's definitely going to resonate for somebody. So if it's resonating for you, put it down in the comments. All right, let's finish up with Pisces. What's coming towards Pisces in love? What's coming towards Pisces in love? What is coming towards Pisces in love? I am getting so sleepy. The devil card. <laughs> the strength card, which is Leo. You get four cards, apparently. Um, holy smokes. Um... Pisces, it's a good day to be a Pisces. Uh, you have three out of four major arcanas, and you have a wish fulfillment card. I feel like um, you guys are in a situation where you are coming, or you are with, or going to be with your divine counterpart. This is the Empress. She's abundant. She's nurturing. She's compassionate. She's caretaking. She's a provider. She's um, really, truly like maternal, motherly. She feels warm. This is the person you're supposed to be with. Male or female, it's not gender specific. It's more of the energies. Um, this person is your wish fulfillment. This person is what you wanted all your life. This person is happiness. Uh, I feel like it might take some strength and courage to come to this situation. I'm not sure why. I could make some assumptions, but let's let the cards tell us before I just say what I think. Um, but I do feel like this might be potentially a Leo. We also have Capricorn. We have Cups and Empress so Taurus. We also have uh, Pisces, Scorpio, Cancer, Leo, Capricorn. But to me, I feel like this is more... Um, I feel like this might be more specific to sign. However, it could be just that this situation is going to require strength and courage on your part. We'll see in a second. But I also think that this is a situation between you and a person that you cannot stop thinking about. I feel like they feel similar to you. Um, it is uh, so obsessive, not to the point where it's unhealthy, but to the point where you guys just feel the need to be together. You guys feel drawn together. You know this is your person. They know that you're their person. They know that you guys are connected. This is continuous thinking. Um, maybe some sexual kind of desires as well. Very sexually chemist. Uh, lots of sexual chemistry. Um, lots of obsessive thinking about this person. Perhaps the Leo... Or just this situation is going to take strength and courage for you to get to your wish fulfillment and your divine counterpart, your divine feminine. 
Let's get a couple of Love and Romance Journey cards from Queen Sugar Tarot. Let's see what pops out for Pisces. Uh, yep, delicacy. I'm just going to show you this picture of this rose. And I'm going to remind you that you have the devil card here. When I say intense sexual chemistry. And transformation. Maybe that's why you need to be strong. Maybe this is a transformative kind of relationship. Maybe you're leveling up. Maybe they're leveling up. But transforming. Friends introducing new love. Time with friends. This could be someone that you're about to meet. Um, illusions. What's fantasy or reality? I kind of feel like you're going to be in that state of, is this real? Because I can't stop thinking about this person. Um, this is a person that I want to be with. Um, this could be someone you've met through uh, friends or friends introduce a new love. Or will you will meet them through friends? All right. Let's get a hidden truth oracle. What they would say to you, Pisces, if they could. What would your person say to you, Pisces, if they could? I lost myself for a little while. Bottom of the deck, I'm becoming a better person. Um, I'm just going to leave there. Uh, you guys, I, I hope you enjoyed this read. Please like, share, comment, and subscribe. If any of this resonated with you, please put it in the comments below. It's super helpful for me to know who I'm connecting with. Um, I appreciate your time, your support. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much for watching. I hope I can get the November reads done and out soon. Um, I know it's already like the 7th. Um, I'm sorry. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching, and until next time, take care. Bye.